Hey guys, how's that tutorials here and um, today it's going to be a different video and I'm going to show you what's in my kit bag and it is, I'm Todd, so it's my Todd's kit bag but first I'm going to start with helmet um, my bag is only cheap and um, cooker butter but, um, so it doesn't fit this thin but a very important piece of equipment it is GM, I've never had a different helmet in my whole life and um, so I don't really want to change it I think I'm going to get a new one next year and um, yeah so um, trust the old thing just pop that down here um, caps obviously when I'm playing for um, clubs and um, leagues and stuff um, but it does a job when it's nice and sunny and training shorts I do have a training top in um, the wash right now because I was training yesterday with Yorkshire but I would like to put them there. Trust the other things. I like to train them a lot. Um, no far on top, and um, whites obviously, but very good top and doesn't stain very easily. Didn't need a new one. Things it is very small. Got three pairs of these Levi um, white socks, but they're not sports socks. Just white, Com comfortable, comfortable around here. Uh, next, I would like to get. I've got two pairs of whites. I've got these GM ones, with lines across, obviously, but um, yeah, they they don't stain much. And um, these grey nickels ones, these don't stain either. But the I've got little uh, loose threads coming off, so better be watching them. Next, onto my bag, obviously. I've got the most expensive bag. With these massive arrows, I think I will be getting a big, black, bigger bag next year. And then um, it's not quite big, so I've got to get a cap fit my helmet in. So I'm, and it's broken, it's gone on it. But I'm gonna first of all, um, I've got this beer mat to dry the ball. Next, we'll go on to this trusty old box. Um, but for now, we're gonna go to the five pads. And um, these five pads are Aero Strippers P3, and these are very, very protective. Obviously, they fit well, but on the small side, but do the job as I'm only a young, grown lad and um, aren't facing the fastest balls, so yeah. Next, we're gonna go on to go on to spikes. These are Puma cells, and um, not the most bent about, I'm not sure. But um, do the job and stick to the ground very well. Never slipped in them apart from when playing an after surf wicket. So, because um, it was really mucky, mucky. Not mucky, but rainy and wet. So, there was that one time when, um, not on the crease obviously, but when I was out in the fields, I might have taken a little slip. Um, gloves, in fact, no, we're going to ball. Training ball, need a new match ball, but not a match ball, but a. Uh, Trials ball, good steam on it, good readers ball, and then we'll go on to gloves. Um, not sure where my other one is. Might have fallen out. Oh, yeah, it's here. I've got these um, grinicles, but they have got a um, sign on it. Not sure what that says, but do the job. I've ever been hit. Right, and this knuckle didn't feel a thing, and yeah, do the job very well. Next, I'm not really known to these, but um, yeah, um, Hunts County Glory Gloves. Got them off my club for free, but whenever our keeper has not got them, I'll get these. Inners are inside them, obviously. But last of all, in the bag, I've got these Adidas clubs. Don't need to, like, Adidas Pros are out because... I'm not facing what 78 miles per hour. I'm only facing the max 65. But they have got these wide wings on the back on the side. But um, yeah, they do the job as you don't get hit if you get hit. Now onto the bats. This trusty old green nickels power blow, but power blow blaze is good start bat. That's my first ever cocky proof bat, and um, it only costs around 30 pound. But um, as a Ten year old, I think you only need a bat costing um just twenty thirty pounds. You shouldn't need these big bats. 
But yeah, um, I enjoyed these. I enjoyed this. Pings a lot. I would recommend this bat if you are an adult um, to your son. Or if you are a son of a young son or a young child. Um, it's worth having a look at this bat as he's got monster edges for like a size 4 it is. And um, yeah, it's pings a lot and it's got quite a thin sweet spot which is not so good for the young player because they're not always going to be hit middle in the ball but you can see got a lot of cherries on there first ever bat quality bat doesn't hurt anything on the toe um, but next we've got this um, GM um, Epic DXM only 707 4 stars but I don't think I need a um, 5 star because um, I was only 12 11 and 12 at the time but it's got it comes with free knocking in um toe tech that's fallen off and a scuffed sheet and um yeah it's it's round at the top the handle but um nice and oval at the bottom which i kind of do like because um i don't know it's facing around prop not uh, better but also this has got a wide quite a wide sweet spot but not a wider so it goes to around there and um yeah that's good for a junior size six yeah i believe and um, it's around there so yeah it's good good quality bat this worth buy if you um are getting into cricket at, the, at that age but um yeah quality bat i think i did buy a bat but it snapped like the first shot i ever played so i ended up buying this and um, yeah, it seems to have a bit of a crack at the bottom, but yeah, can't get it wrong. Lots of cherries on that. Um, so yeah, and finally, we I'd like to move on to my um, bat that I am using at the moment, but not for much longer. Um, get it out. You get a free bat case with it. So um, I like to talk about this. It's not um the finish of brains. I think it's got one, two. Three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight grains, but as you can see, I put a lot of care into it. It has got a couple of cracks at the bottom of it just there, so I have a lot of tape on there. And the toe guards come off. I'm not um, sh massively sure about this bat because it's got a very, very thin, thin spine, which means it's got a thin sweet spot, but it's a round, round um, handle. And it's got quite big edges, but I'm not massive fan. It's really light. It's got a good pickup. But the toe, if you hit the toe, it's just dropping to the ground. Um, it either plays quality, but I disagree with that as um, is an Indian um, company. Like, bats are made in India, and they do not take as much care into the bats. Um, for me, I would not um, recommend this bat to you guys, because... I would not recommend um, Cookabuds to fair because they don't seem to last and quite fragile as I've got cracks in the bottom but um, yeah I do like the grip on it so I might take that off a new one. But I am getting a new bat in December and um, I will bring out a new video on that. So yeah I've um, got a couple of, not many, um, cherries don't really show up on this. But this is probably the bat that I've hit the most balls with as I'm playing for um, leagues and like s schools and stuff. But I am using this tomorrow for school and um, this indoor obviously. But um, I, I always use this bat for indoor because it is the lightest bat I've got probably. As it is a monster bat. Not really but monster heavy if you know what I mean. A lot of edges on there. <laughs> from me but um i trained with this yesterday and i did enjoy using it once again but i'd like to end it there and i will talk properly over these bats um in the couple of next videos but in the winter i would like to um show you my um my um bat i'm not going to say what it is but i'll see what it, uh, you'll see and my brother is getting a new bat um very soon I think and um, yeah I'd like to talk through that as well fully knocked in obviously and yeah quality 
not quality, but I would not recommend this. So. Try to stay away from kookaburras, although they do, when they do, when they are alive, I'm sure to say they are good bats. Though they're very, they're not durable, so I wouldn't. I'll stay away from them. But um, yeah, I'd like to bring you some, bring this to, video to the end. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.